So, uh, good morning to everybody. Uh, today, uh, I'm Harajan Biswas, academic counselor of Egru. So, now today, the second part of MMPP JJ1 project one. Today, uh, again, I have to show you some of the example of how to write a synopsis and the project. And what are the norms uh, to be taken care? So before that, uh, again, some of the essential of uh, the project. What are the things are there that has to? Uh, I will just really read out some of the points. A live issue or a problem which is organization specific. Because see the students and learners, their project. Uh, most of the cases, uh, students and everybody are focusing on the old projects, which already uh, prepared, I mean, already published or somehow. So that type of, uh, I think, try to avoid this, all these things. So live issues on actually, when students see the present scenario, what is that going on? So that type of uh, live issues is very, that is for the purpose of the project or the research works. So that is one of the point. The live issue or the, what are the present scenario the problems? Okay, what are the challenges? Rather I can say, what are the challenges are presently? So you have to pick up some of the things. Or at the same time, you have to see that project should be related or related to some of the organizations. But you cannot take it as a generalized, you cannot generalize these things. Most of the cases I have observed, uh, it has been seen that um, job satisfactions, a uh, lot of projects are going on, job satisfactions, or maybe they are saying some of the mutual fund, or maybe the HR practices. But then you have to have a refer from all the organizations, means your project area to be confined where your location name of the organization has to be mentioned so in the title itself it will be clear concept yes this is the project and that project has to be conducted in this company so uh, to identify the, the selection of the topics or title has to be such a way some organization specific must. Number two point enters the scientific collections because the collections should be scientific way. It's not a haphazard way or some of the data is already uh, already prepared or um, not collected properly. That should not be. So through some scientific collections should be there. Analysis should be there and interpretation of the data. That three, actually any project is research there are three pillars, I can say. These are all the pillars, columns. Collection is very important, data collections. Analysis is another thing. You cannot compromise with the analysis part. And your interpretation of the what the data, what are the things, how are the way you are interpreting. It is a tabular form, a pie chart, or maybe in a, some of the cards. So, what the way you are interpreting, that is also important. Because if you write 500, 600, or 100, 200 pages, so there is no meaning because there is no time at all. So we have to have some of the question. analysis part, it should be as a tabulated portions, picturized, some uh, pictorial form should be used. At the same time, you have to written something as a chart, and at the same time, it should be pictured. 
So pigeon tissue is very important. Get the pigeon tissues. Another thing, valid conclusions. So conclusion is very important. For example, if your pigeon the conclusion is not there, you are not uh, clarifying the then success of the uh, pigeon is diluted. It is a uh, different. Reducing, reducing all the three awards is writing in the form of the project, project. So, if you do these things, then definitely you can minimize, you can minimize the things, so writing can, can be shorter. So, in general, project uh, should be around 60 to 80 pages, so as for the standard practice. But if you have a, your analysis part is good, you are, uh, you are showing a lot of uh, colored, uh, your sheets are there, and maybe there are some of the uh, interpolation, cars, or whatever. Uh, clearly, your data is interpreting maybe 15 to 16 pages are like this. So then, your no writing portion will be reduced. So, basic idea is this. Now, essential steps. What are the steps uh, you have to, uh, before, uh, for the music tour, what type of steps you have to take? That is the identifications and the defining the problem. First things, you have to identify the problem. Suppose in the organizations, everything is smooth. There is no problem at all. Everywhere, 80-90 percent scoring you are observing. In the finance sector, in the profit margin is good, the new projects are already there, all the staffs are happy. Then there is no need for uh, any project, I mean, no need for the research for this. So, first, during this problem, if any some problem is there, so first you have to identify the, which is the area where you are working in the company. So, first you have to identify the, where the problem is in the company. That area you have to identify and that problem, how to solve these problems, that is the research work. You start beginning of the research work or the project, you start from there. So identification of the problem is very important. If problem is not there, then what for the research? What for the project? When, you, when the everything is good, then you need not to go there, it's a waste of time and money. So solutions, basically the solution is prepared and finally, you have to recommend it in the project system. So, this is the basic idea of the research work. A project work. Here, in this case, the student, uh, uh, when you are in a student, not, not for the uh, PhD or something, so it is not any research scholar purposes. Students' contributions are very important because any evaluators are looking, focus on the students' contribution, what the students have contributed. General theory, uh, not required. Most of the cases, the synapses itself, the position, theories are more. There are a lot of theorems. Total, maybe the half of the books are in the project itself. So, which are already published, which somebody has, a lot of definition has given, need not to write all these things. This is not a project. More problematic area where it's not everything, you have faced the problems and how, what the way you have. Uh, done these things, conducted everything, that is the important. This area you have to elaborate, you have to write in more way, what the way you have your uh, methods, what the way you have collected, and what the findings you have, what type of struggle or challenges you have faced during that period, that is important. So, state where the theory is not, the theory is written, not, not, not required at all. Definitely, you have to give us some of these things before start this particular chapter or something, then go to your contribution part. Now, planning and conducting the fieldwork for the chosen project uh, based on the approved synopsis, and then you have to generate the data. So, you have to wait for the approval of the synopsis because the synopsis uh, may, may be some questions there, maybe modification is required, or maybe rejected. So, that's why if you parallel, if you start, then it will be consuming your uh, money and time. So wait for the synopsis approval, then you plan accordingly. 
put on a finger to feed on. Analyzing the data and the drawing conclusions. First, you have to analyze the data. Then after that, you have to give some conclusions. Yes, 60% uh, people are happy or 40% of people are not happy. So in a department, suppose you are uh, serving uh, some of the total department of the organizations, finance, HR, your production sales, marketing, sales, so everything. Now finally, there are categorized one, two, three, four, five departments are there. First department, each other, they are, uh, there are so many people are satisfied, but the person not satisfied. So that is how we have to categorize and overall we have to see the organization's happiness or the satisfaction levels where that you can have it. Uh, you can picture, uh, picturize the things. Then you can have it draw some line of the things and the conclusions. Yes, around 50% the uh, people are unhappy. So that is a target area. How to develop the, uh, uh, those who are unhappy persons, unhappy employees. So how to develop this? How this is required? Then you can recommend some of the good practices or uh, some of the uh, uh, strategy. What are the strategies to be taken care? So then your project will be successful. Analyzing the data and the and then writing the project. Then after that, you have to write it. First, you have to synopsis, you have to prepare it, you have to wait for the approvals, when it is approved, then only you can move to the So, this is the basically steps. Now, defining the problems. When you have you seen some of the problems or you have uh, acknowledged some of the problems, then how to define? So, it should be a live problem and the organization specific and it should be manageable within your resources. That is something what happened. Problem is there. But it is as a student uh, or uh, as a HR manager, suppose you are considering as a HR manager. So uh, it is really um, manageable or not, this problem. Based on the available source, suppose you are uh, very critical nature of problems in the If you cannot, as per your effort, it will not be done. So you have to consider it your uh, time money and the effort. That is possible. Otherwise, if you give it more and more effort, but uh, that uh, you cannot manage it, but you cannot complete the project in such a way. It, it, means, it means, suppose you are uh, selecting a top topics in such a way that it can be achievable, it can be manageable. You can within a two months or three months, you can collect the data or you can prepare the things and you can submit, you can complete the project uh, like that. So, that type of project uh, or problematic project you have to see. Choice. So choice is as, as in your based on your capacity, your time, how much time you can put it. So, otherwise, if, uh, if you say the uh, very problematic project uh, area problem is very high level, then it can be take one year, two year to solve all these things. So that type of uh, you have to avoid these things. Organization selected uh, should be such that they are willing to help you generate the relevant data because when you are thinking suppose you are thinking for the project and prepare some of the project very good no problem now where you are working first of all you see how much access you have really your management your top level your bosses or other colleagues they will help you for completing this or not others if it is not um, uh, relevant uh, data you are not getting from your organizations. So then it is a problem. Because, or suppose if you are charging the other companies where you don't have any access, no friend, nothing, you don't know, just simply uh, SBI bank. But SBI bank, you are writing for mutual, mutual, uh, mutual fund system of uh, SBI, for example. But you don't have any SBI uh, friend, or if you don't know, uh, they will give you a chance or not to survey or for the interviews and all these things or maybe the past data last four five years data they are reluctant to give then this is a problem so first of all you have to see you have to select the organizations where you can have a, some chance to get the data then only you can prepare you can generate some of the data the organizations could be your own or any other organizations 
in your vicinity, suppose it's some friend or colleagues or your relatives working somewhere. So you can select that organizations because when you have these patients, the assumptions, so you go to relatives or friends are there, you can please some of the data they will give or some arrangement they can do it for you to scrutinize the things. So so it must be that to one where you can have access to information both for primary and secondary data and the, and the managerial, managerial uh, willingness to discuss your ideas and views is very really important. So keeping in mind also this is a part of your defining the problem. So when you are trying the problem, it should be clear, it should be uh, in your mind, yes, this is the problem, okay, fine. But which company I should uh, select it? And that company really give me the help or not to finish to finish this project. So considering it. Now coming to uh, project proposal. Now most of these students, everybody are confused about these things. What is project proposal? How to write it? How many pages should be there? What the way I can start it? So, so a lot of confusion. So I'm trying to give you here some of the structured way to tell you what the actual project was and uh, what to, how to proceed. Basically the synopsis, project proposal and synopsis the same thing. So after selecting the suitable topics, when you are selecting the suitable topics, again I'm telling you that topics should be more specific to some of the organizations. Organizations should be there, otherwise you cannot do it. Define the problem and make the outline plan by which you propose to conduct the project study. So, uh, outline is very much important to conduct the next step. The next step is to prepare the project synopsis and get it approval by the approved by the institution where you are studying. To be or any university is where. So first you have to identify topics choice to your two traditions. Or otherwise, you can discuss with your project guide. The guide will give you some of the topics because ultimately they have to see, they can select you some of the topics, okay, you can go for this because they have enough idea and experience, they can give you this. Otherwise, you can take in your own some of the topics. So, a project uh, synopsis, therefore, is an outline plan of conducting your project. So, so synopsis is nothing. You have to give me some outline, or you can say summarize some of the summary you are giving in my project review letters. So this is the recipe, as I uh, conveyed earlier also. So it is just like outlines, and or I can say this is some of the recipe you what your project should be. Where uh, personal data, uh, writing the project report is all up. After that, the coming in. Project outlines. Now it is important. Different university in different way. This is all of the combining. I have combined most of the uh, university's uh, structure and the uh, latest uh, things review also. So think this is the outline of the project. Means uh, synopsis has to be prepared based on this. So first thing is title of the project. As I, as I say, title of the project should be simple, realistic, and should not be very big. Title should be just one sentence. But you have to be careful about it. Title should not be a particular one. Job succession, no. Mutual fund, no. HR practices, no. HRM, no. That should be some of the related to where you are conducting the uh, that part that you have to write. For example, a study on HR practices of Tata consultants. Or you can say uh, a study or for the MIC, a study for the analysis for some of the uh, you can say for uh, market behaviors. Bracket, bracket may for a case study of particular this company. So you have to mention where you are going for this project. So title itself should come in the title itself. In the, in the end, it should come. 
why you are like you know, uh, conductor so i have seen lots of cases today's the confusion that find a title but the title itself should come clear the uh, things should be come from the title itself so that you have, have to careful about it now then statement about the problems uh there are actually uh, big major introductions are should be there that maybe i have missed introductions to article title one introduction part should be introductions then after that it should come statement about the problems i'll show you one of the uh, example also after that so this is the outline i'm showing you then title of the project then after that introductions that should be brief or introductions should be based on the company itself what are the profit what are the annual based on the annual report on from the website here you can get it all these data from the particular organizations or if you have a colleague or if you have a friend some from some of the companies you can also get the latest uh, things so basically the introduction is nothing with the companies the business they have what the what the way they are running their business uh, last three four years what type of revenue they have generated what are the new project they are launched if in some problem is this the particular this why the competitive uh, market that things you have to you know, brief in the introductions then after that any organization is definitely some problem will be so to identify the particular problem within particular this company that is the uh, your statement about the problem or statement of the problem you can say statement of the problem so then rationals within the rationals there are three parts which is the particular uh, why is the particular topic chosen because definitely some reason should be there as a as a writer as a uh, uh, candidate as a student definitely have some background why you are choosing this because there yeah, at least one para you have to write it. that this is the part to uh, the process that's the things then what contribution would be the project uh, make up to the uh, what the contributions from the project and to whom who will be the benefit that we have to write right. then what contribution would the project make to people so both the way after the finish of the things uh, right. i think it's the same sentence so uh, anyway then objectives so here actually again uh, just recapping title of the project interactions statement of the problem why you are choosing this problem what uh, benefits are there and in terms of what the way company will be benefit that up to the focus then coming to your objectives uh, scope of the study of project objectives should be the your project objectives because you see there are lot of objectives company they have a some different objectives But as is the way you are writing the project, particular that problem of quality areas, particular this area, that object is the object, not overall total company's objectives. But suppose your topic is in marketing, or your problem uh, topic uh, topic is in your HR. So focus on this uh, part where you are likely to go for searching the things uh, for your search. So focus on that area, that area, not focus on total scope of the studies. That is whether objectives and actually should be objectives and scope of the study. Or otherwise, there should be another two para objectives of the study, scope of the study, another para you can do. Scope of the study is basically confined the jurisdictions that you have to write. Yes, from SPI bank, there are three branches you can write the names. The three phase, uh, branches of the SBI. How, what the way the uh, mutual fund is going on? That I have to solve. Yeah. This is my jurisdiction. I mean, this is the area I have to confine. My scope is this. I will not go for other bank or not other. 
or if you write in the introduction is okay, I have to visit for Axis Bank, SBA Bank, and ICC Bank. Three bank I have to visit and let's see what the mutual fund there. Then after that, I have to prepare some comparative list. Then you have to mention it. So this is the way, what the way you have to mention. The scope basically where you have to move particular and from where you are collecting the data, that area you have to define. That is your scope. Now, research methodology. In the research methodology, you have to, uh, your uh, methods, what are the methods you have to adopt? That you have to adopt. But the way you have to follow these things, there should be some primary data, you have to define what is the primary data, you have to write some of the primary data definitions. Then you have to uh, say the, what the, there are so many methods for collecting the primary data. Inquiry systems, telephonic systems, questionnaire systems, counseling systems. So that you have to mention. But the way you, have, you want to uh, proceed, everything should be in future tense. That's because it's all our outline. You are planning, you are giving an outline, recipe. So project, final project, all everything should be in past tense. I have done, I have gone there, I have visited. But here everything I like you to be would be to be done, everything will be in the future consequences. The limitations. As a research methodology, you have to mention the secondary data also from the where you are uh, taking the secondary data. Any project um, uh, for this thing, for the research method, both the data you have to require, primary and the secondary. Only primary, based on some the primary data, you may not be um, uh, conclude cannot be given a correct pictures for that. So you should have it, both the primary data also, is the current data, and then you can comprise, you can see the differences. You can better you can understand last five years, what the company has done, what, what type of problem was there, now this uh, the, in present scenario, what type of problem is there. So all these problems you can see last span of five, four, five years. So that Previous things always secondary and the current is always the primary. So both the things are required. In, in this current situations, that is you have to uh, develop, you have to discover the things, you have to identify the things which are not published so far. Nobody has done it earlier. So that is the all the primary data, basic data. All data which are this, this is old data, all are preserved data, reserved data from the manuals, from the website, from the Googles, or from the uh, lot of uh, old files you can collect. That is all mostly limitations. Limitations are limited there because in the short time you have to, within a very short time you have to submit it, within two months or three months you have to, because the time constraints are there. Then sometimes maybe when you are going for the collecting the data, employees may be reluctant, they are sometimes it is a of affairs or anyhow it is by virtue of nature. Sometimes they are not uh, open out the things. But because of the sampling is very less, so you are already confined or specified some of the area only, you are not taking is a mass data. So error should be there, chances of error will be there. There is an error the limitations. So limitations you can write two, three points. Then chapter scheme, basically your project, how it looks. What are the chapters will be there? So it's just the exact chapterizations of chapters. In the future, in the font sheet is the contain that the, uh, your project contain sheet are basically your chapter sheets. Guides by data, definitely you have to guides by data as per the norm. Your signature should be there in the CV. And guides by data basically the use qualifications, experience should be there, and your qualification when he has passed out. If, uh, if uh, it is fine to, uh, to produce this uh, certificate also, guide, uh, guide certificates, experience certificate, if you attach it, that is good, fine. Then basically you have to justify that your guide is suitable. As an evaluator, as an evaluator, you can understand that yes, your guide is comfortable, if your guide is uh, enough knowledge, uh, what the, you are written, that is, you, are, you can count it. Yes, this biodata is this, and this certificate is this, and experience certificate also. 
for some reason it got off in the head. So, uh, uh, so uh, if uh, uh, the signature should be there, original signature, and in the form it is also on the signature. So, guys, signature is really important. Now, original signature, photocopy, not allowed. I mean, the digital signatures or something, not allowed. You have to uh, take the original signature with the, if your guide is some not in particular this location, other location, you can send it uh, by post, you can collect it. This is the way you can do it. Now, this is the formula, basically. Um, actually, I have uh, for the, prepared for this presentation purposes, but it is available in the website, uh, in the, in the prospectus itself. If you store the prospectus, there are in the page number 72 or 73, you will see the project guidelines. Uh, MMPC is video one, especially the project guidelines, where you can also get it completely. Or otherwise, from the MBA prospectus, if you download it, then if you go to page number 72, then you can get it the, all these forms. So that is the project proposal forms. It should not be distorted. Uh, it's exact, you have to take the printout. And you can write in your mind. Don't go for the typing because when you go for the typing, it may be distorted. The file may be distorted. So, because PDF to Word and Word to PDF, so based on this, some of the lines may be changes. Some of the things can be um, missing. Because I have seen a lot of things are missed. Those who are uh, try to uh, in a uh, print. Uh, typing as a from the computer itself, they have done it, but somehow some of the things are distorted. So, better is you take a printout and write the things, take a summary. No. And uh, here you have to mention all these things. Project proposal number. Project proposal number is important. That it will be allotted to the particular regions they will give you. That PP number. That is project proposal number, you have to preserve it. Alternate analysis you have till your project final draft has not submitted. That time also you have to keep. Because that is only the reference number, you can correspond with the regional centers. And complete uh, postal address to be Then uh, this is the way it's there. Uh, guide has to rise to the sign. The second page, the first part. Continuation thing. So there here actually you see in, when I have tried these things, I have also faced the one of the table is there. The table has not uh, copied. When I convert in a uh, word form in a PPT form from the PDF to PPT forms, that problem I have also faced. So that's why I have additionally I have to put in a table. But in the original form, there is some small table is there, synapses and supervisors. Approved, not approved, that part is this. So that, that's why you have to be careful about The signature of these supervisors and date should be there. Student uh, signature and date should be there. Signature always the top of the signature line, of the line, not below the written. Some of the students are written uh, signature of the supervisor, uh, signature of the student. Below that, they have signed. No. Signature always the on top of the signature line. Uh, then data always there, date and place also you have to mention it. And uh, then after that, the evaluated what is there, the official use purposes. That will be. So all this information in the forms, basically, all the what are the information that should be there. Here one thing you have to careful the address. Because suppose because it's by post you have to use it, that synopsis will be delivered to the students address. If you uh, put your uh, old address where you are not there, I mean the as for the at time of admissions, what the address is there, then the synopsis will be dispatched to that address. Suppose for example uh, you are not there, somehow temporarily you have to shift it or something. So present where you are available. That address you have to mention. Maybe a temporary doesn't matter. For sending the synopsis, otherwise I have seen a lot of students, they have received their uh, synopsis 
they are trained by the post itself, but they are I am not getting the synapses, but it is all it is dispatch where old address because the mention in the old address that's it. So you have to carefully email address or whatever it is the latest should be given where you can collect the uh, material easily. In the record, it may be your old address, doesn't matter, but here actually for getting this synopsis, approval synopsis, so you have to put it to where you are uh, available. Because straight away, based on this, your, this address, it will be dispatched. If you mention your latest address here, so definitely it will go to your this address, not for the old addresses. So you have to be available. So now, okay, this part for foundation, what are the problems that I have already discussed. Now, certificate of origin, RNID. It is not required with the synapses. I see some of the students, they have put in the synapses itself. That certificate required with the final students. So that then some certification has to be given. Uh, that uh, your uh, supervisors, the project guide will uh, endorse, yes, this work is original. And uh, he is my student for the degree of the uh, student, and what are some part of your uh, certifications. So, it is required along with the final project, not with the synapses. And format you cannot change it, because the format is already given uh, in the website, same format should be there. You cannot change any language itself, everything should be the same. So now, now I'm giving one of the examples. It's very important. I think it will help all the students, those who are uh, facing the how to write the synopsis, and it is very unique. I've prepared and in such a way, very simple way, so that you can understand it easily. Now we see title, job description analysis in Mrs. Indian Export House Limited. If I not write the Mrs. Indian Export Limited, then it will be, uh, don't know where I am going for this thing. Now it is very clear that, that means the project, the synapses are basically for the Indian Export House Limited, where this has to be conducted, that subject will be conducted. There is just a question of the analysis for particular this company to be done. So, title itself will be clear. If you go through this title, it is clear that indications Indian Export House Limited, where the survey has to be done, uh, I mean, the project to be done for the purpose of judge suspension of analysis purposes. So, first things 1.0, this is the way you have to structure it. First, you can intend in 1.0, that is a brief introduction of IEX. You can short it's the Indian Export House Limited. That is I E H. So first you have to give it one page. We can write some of the introductions. Introductions we can write some of the company when it has established, how the way is running, how much export here they are doing, what the way they are, how many branches are in the area. That is a general way. And the profit, what the annual return, everything from the old annual report you can give it. Otherwise, www particular this company, you can have a summary. Brief introductions, state where there is no audit, it is available in the websites or in the annual report. If you collect this particular this company annual report, you can take that. So, brief introductions, don't worry, simply you can take and you can write in your own languages. Now, the part number 2.0 that is your rationals. Now, in the rationals, again, you see there are three parts 2.1 that is a statement of the problem. The statement of the problem means Actually, what the problem is going on in this particular company, that you have to highlight. Maybe some of the introduction part you can touch, touch it. So, you can write, maybe some of the things are common for the introductions also. So, you can reduce some of the things. So, it's in 1962, Mrs. India Export House Limited is one of the first and the oldest garment export houses in India. Initially, it started with the export in the garments, handicraft, and the, and the incense of the UK and USA. But today, 
it uh, specialize in the ladies garments and only export the same about a decade ago it had achieved an annual turnover over the 35 crores it has a man manpower strength of 2000 uh, 200 employees so 200 employees are there and around turnover 35 crores so now prop now gives you we have to see where the problem now however over the past six years the export and hence the turnover of the IL has Decline now. This is a question mark. That is the problem. It means now it is declining. Earlier it was not there, very good. Now it is declining. So, in the meanwhile, the manufacturing unit of the um, I not fail actually, this is uh, wrongly printed out. Uh, IEHL Indian Dry Export House Limited had also shifted from Najapur area to Noida in 1983. That you have given the, some of the reasons. Because the, it is declining now, from they have shifted their factory the, or everything, uh, their unit in the Noida. Though, uh, through there have been many reasons which together have contributed to the decline in performance of IEH. So, in their performance, somehow the problem is not good. So, lack of job is the lack of job satisfaction of the employees appears to be one of the key reasons. So, here the slowly you are giving a statement of the problems. So one thing declining started and here the job system is not. So there are two things area you can identify. So here turnover of the approximate 35 uh, course in the 1987 has now dropped to just 16 crores. Earlier it was 35 crores, now it is 16 crores. Why it has happened? Maybe chances of just question. They are also as well. Now as a uh, as a student now we have to start doing some project work really the density really the degree of say, the unsatisfied pupils where the people are uh, is so now that is really a project so their man, man, uh, manpower turnover to has increased over the last five years manpower uh, you see here one of the conditions manpower is also increased Turnover is increased. So that means the recruitment process was going on. And maybe some of the people are leaving and going. So total turnover will be how much people are joining, how much people are going, how much people are retiring. So everything are considering this thing. So last five years has got this increase. So turnover also increased. In terms of manpower, turnover increase means not the money. Is not declining, profit revenue has declined. Earlier it was 35, uh, now it is 16 program. So, company is slowly declining. Reason one, one of the key reasons is what? Not satisfied, job satisfaction is not there. So, now we have got it. What is the problem? That problem we are talking about the statement of the problem. So, that means problem area now we have identified. Very good. Now, we'll go for the next case. two point. Why is the top business? So we have to write that an employee of this IEH as a merchandise in the sampling department, persons working in the same uh, company, and he is the student of this particular, let it be from Eagle students, he is working, uh, working in there and he is doing his MB. So that's why he is writing, he is writing this, I am, uh, I have, I have been an employee of the DHL as a merchandise in the sampling department in 1996 and have uh, been observing this decline in the performance and the turnover. Yes, I am also observing. So I am deeply concerned with the well-being of my own companions. I would therefore like to scientifically analyze the reasons and suggest remedial measures to the manager. So that because of that. Which one is this, this topics? So this is the solid reasons. If the way you have right any in your project, right? So one go seriousness will be applied. So rather writing lot of things, confusing things, it will be confused yourself and the evaluator also. So first of all, you have to clear your mind. What's the problem? And why you are choosing these things? Now third thing, two point three. Two point three to what contribution uh, could the project make? And to whom? So, 
Results of my survey and analysis would provide a very useful input to the management of our initial who are already seized of the problem. So we have to reach me in my period to be helpful. So they have welcomed my effort and are uh, looking forward to collecting all the available data in, in this respect for examining the problem here. So already a lot of people are studying when you have decided they are saying they have already decided uh, to do this project in this area. So a lot of uh, my colleagues are welcoming. Block your team, do this project. Very good. It's a good project. We are helping you. No problem. It's a good thing. So they're looking forward to collecting the evidence. So that that this is a win uh, position. When that person will go for this survey, so all these your colleagues and everybody will help to get the data. So in this aspect of examining the problem, it's totally. So um, uh, this is the way you can run. Now, next point, object is the score. Again, in the object is, we can say that is 3.1 object is. The object of my project is to evaluate the job satisfaction. Level of the employees to Indian export and suggest Indian measures. Otherwise, you can write some of the other way also. 1, 3.1, again 3.1, A, 3.1, A, to understand the existing problems. 3.1, B, you can write. To collect the uh, information, all data are from the different departments. Now 3.1.C to analyze all the data. Then finally you can write 3.1.D suggest some remedial measures or to develop some of the remedial measures. So that is the way you can bullet bullet you can write the object is can be otherwise in written form. Here the, the object is given in written form, otherwise you can say one sentence, two sentences. Most of the cases, three things. Any objectives, any project, first things you have to know. You have to understand the things, what are the existing problems going on. Okay. After that, when you are collecting all these data, then definitely the second step is your analysis. You have to analyze the data. Then only you can have a idea. So it should be in chronological order. First, you have to uh, know yourself, idea, what are the things are going on. Then collect the data then analysis the data, then finally you have to develop some of the new ideas or some of the images, then you can even suggest. So objectives should be three or four points. Some of the cases I have seen there are objectives seven, eight, nine, ten objectives should be not written. No, that should not be. Or here actually it is clear, objectives is particularly project related only. If I suppose to uh, recruit the uh, uh, companies uh, 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 HR, from the HR systems. How much people are, are happy? So, in general, you don't know. Only for all your objectives is there, where you are focused on this problem. So, there two, three questions should be there. Then, scope 3.2. My study will be confined. My studies will be confined as an employee of the IEHS. Just to touch, you have to trigger the your score and define. Then some past impulse of the IEC. That means we have to say my study will be, I have to inquire from my present employees, then I have to, those who are already retired or already designed this company, what for they have designed, that I have to inquire, why they have unhappy, because of the happy they have retired or I mean uh, leave this company or not. That data I have to collect it. Customers and the unbiased of the ICL governments. So from the customers' viewpoint also I have to collect. So this is the area you have to your study area. That is actually the scope. So 3.2 scope is over. Then after that you have to write methodology. It is simply just one on pages, not writing details. Synopsis. So one on synopsis should be five to six pages. That's all. So only one one paragraph. You can give me some outline, but not giving the project final thing. 
my name because if you have to do it, always keep in mind this is just out there. Pathology. So there is a four point then four point one primary data. Then primary data to for obtaining the primary data for my project, I propose to use uh, two research instruments. One is the machines and the structure. So this is the way uh, you have to collect the primary data. Because this is the only uh, this is the only way you can collect it. Or telephonic. But when you are in the going to the particular uh, export company, then this uh, are only 200 uh, manpower are there. So no problem. I think this is not required for the for everybody's uh, viewpoint. You can sample it. You can take okay, um, I'm just only 20% or 10% I can select the uh, people where I can push it. Negative injuries. So sampling is also not all. What are the populations that have to see as we have uh, written somewhere? I have seen that the 200 uh, people are working. So definitely it should be, if you consider the 10 persons, so that means around 25, 20, 25. Sufficient. Sampling selection is also important. Suppose you have 500 uh, population in the particular company, there are 500 people where you are likely to go for the study. So definitely at least around 50. Your sampling is different, then it will be justified. Then your uh, data based collections will be uh, error will be less. Sample is very less, then chances will be in error. Uh, will be things. Now, sample compositions. Now, that 25 uh, sampling, you have to dis distribute some of the export manager. There are five. You have to inquiry, you have to collect the data. Here are the departments, there are around uh, five. So, 5 by 10 collected supervisors, there are 10 supervisors, you have to go for questions and take some interview, something. And past employees who have already leave these organizations, you can, uh, you can go their house or you can go the phone. What are the way or you can send this um, email to questionnaires, let them try. So, there are five. So, total 25 you have to just do. That is called, called sample composition. When will be your composition? This is the composition. 25 template, you are not distributed in this section. Now, uh, your, uh, your uh, structured interviews, the both a second part. This is their, one of the, your portionaries, the sampling. Now, same thing, your the sampling uh, are uh, around uh, 2025, but you are distributed for the structured interviews also. Sampling again, same thing. Export your employees to a manager, then head of the department to supervisors to person and customers. Now, earlier was, the customer was not there. Now we have, we have to use the customers also. So this is the way you have to collect all the primary data. Now from here in the methodology, you see primary data portion is over now. Now 4.1, now we have to talk about the 4.2. That is secondary data. As I say, the both the things are required for the uh, for the bigger projects. So secondary data you have to I propose to create the secondary data from previous number of previous in house studies done by the IEG. Maybe the previous year somebody has done the studies. Same you can take it as a reference. Earlier complaints letters of the customers. Maybe some of the customers have complained earlier. You can take this complaint as a complaint. So there is also some sort of unsatisfaction part. Why the customers are unhappy? So this is the way we have to collect this. All our old data basically is a part of the secondary part. Then primary and secondary, both the data that you can analyze better. Limitations. Time uh, uh, constraints to finish the project uh, within a very uh, short time. Very short time. Within a very short time. So within a uh, short what is missing now? Time constraints to finish the project within a very short period. So that is one of the limitations. Number two, sometimes employees are reluctant to disclose his or her view because sometimes employees are not giving exactly views because human nature is different. Maybe it's unfair or maybe think in other way, not willingly are giving these things. So there will be a chance of misdata. I mean, uh, error can be there. So that is a, uh, one of the limitations. Third, that is a, this project analysis may not be applicable 
for other reasons because what the ego uh, depending this project cannot be universal cannot be unique project because it is on, only the concern of, of the your IHL not confined to the project only IHL so other company may be they have different problems so it may not be the same problems their strength may be more they have 200 people are only working you are taking some so that is one of the limitation it is only confined for the old um, ICL. So this is the uh, limitation part. Now, last thing, another part in the chapter scheme. The chapter scheme in the project is planned to be, you suggested to be, planned to be as early. Means in the synopsis, in the synopsis is not like this. In the project, maybe after two months you have to prepare. That time your project, how it looks, how what type of chapter you have to uh, give it. Now you have to highlight some of the It's not a mandatory, but it is better. If you give a some chapter, a chapter scheme, it is better. So introductions, uh, then objectives of the school, methodology, data collections. You see here data collections. Now data analysis. In the synopsis, there is no data analysis. Findings. So, in the synopsis, what you are keeping, what the things will be as an input for your final budget. Findings, recommendation, and conclusions. So, this is the way all the chapters should be there. Here, actually, important chapter is chapter number four and five. Very important. Because balance things will be almost same, which we have written in the synopsis. Same thing you can write. No problem. Because introduction to the company will not change very much. So, uh, hopefully the same. Objectives and the scope is also almost the same. So what do they have written in the synopsis? Maybe all the same thing will come. Methodology is also almost the same. Change will be your chapter 4 and 5. You have to elaborate a little more. More sheets will be there. Data collection sheets. You have all that you have to introduce. So a lot of sheets are there. Graph features is the NHR and exhibit table of forms, data analysis, all the sheets you have to analysis it and you have to give your recommendations also. Then findings you can do like this and conclusions. So in total around 60 to 80 pages should be there. And when you are project will be there, it looks around 60 to 80 pages. You have to elaborate it. At that time introductions you can write little more, some of the you can increase little more. Objectives and the scope method, you cannot, uh, you can increase, you cannot increase more because that is the same. What the objectives already have uh, outlined in the earlier the synopsis, that will be remain same. Data collections analysis important because chapter number five data analysis where you have to give some color, excellent uh, quality. That is the quality uh, of your uh, projects because if the data analysis part is there, then definitely your project will be good. Otherwise, what all, any examiner, any, any evaluator will target to see this chapter number five and six. That is the data, your data collection, data analysis, finding, what are the various things? Four, four chapter onward up to the last, that is the target area to evaluate, to examine, to scrutinize. So students, we have to be careful about this so that when you are presenting the things, you have to be very careful about this. This chapter itself. So now I'm trying to recap all these things. First, uh, what uh, you can just roll back the things. Just for uh, uh, again and saying you know, this is your um, the brief introductions, then rationals, the like statement of the topic, then your uh, why you are choosing these topics, then your what the contribution will be come out from this project, then your uh, then your objective, which is you can write in a bullet form or something. And scope of the uh, study that you have to write, where you are really conducting the uh, project, then methodology, primary data, and what the way you have distributed, that is your sample size, company uh, compositions also you have to think, sample size always you have to take around 10 to 50 percent only, not more than that, sufficient, because otherwise if you take a more sample, the more survey it is going to be time consuming, that's why, that's why you have to take it small. Other research purposes may be different, but student purposes you have to take this one. Because within two months you have to prepare. Then your uh, sample uh, for the uh, structure interview purposes. 
they were talking about the cellular data but now when we did the limitations which are just like this so okay i think uh, almost we have uh, finished all these things that uh, you know discussing about the synopsis part and the tick part what the we have to write it, and what are the precautions you have to take it, and where the um, loopholes what the checkpoints are there that are to be so i have any uh, i think so it is not left out anything i have covered up all the points okay thank you very much to everybody okay now stay bye